Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Hinkle with Cheeky Scientist. And today's question comes from Fatan Zambra. I'm pursuing my PhD in biotechnology and I have experience of three years in molecular techniques and DNA sequencing. I'm looking for a job in industry. Help me. Uh, this is a question we get very, very often. Uh, for example, we've got other questions like, I have a PhD in immunology. How do I get a job? Uh, I am pursuing a PhD in human resource management. Will I get a good job in industry? Um, what are the real opportunities for people trained in environmental radioactivity measurements? I have a PhD in, in biotechnology experience and many technical skills. How do I get a job? On and on and on. Now, the one thing that all of these questions have in common is that a PhD is talking about their technical experience and asking how to get a job. And this is the number one, the biggest misconception that PhDs have is that your technical experience really matters and is enough to get you a job. It doesn't. Your PhD essentially is a checkbox. And everybody else who's going to be interviewing against you or who's sending in resumes has similar technical experience. What matters to hiring managers, right, and realize most hiring managers don't have a PhD, especially for large companies. They're going to have uh, you know, a bachelor's degree, maybe a, maybe a master's. They're certainly not going to have the in-depth knowledge in most cases of the scientific field uh, that you might be brought being brought on for. They're not going to know about your, your scientific field either. So again, your technical skills matter very, very little. And when you do come into an interview, they're not going to ask you to perform a Western blot during the interview. They're not going to say, hey, can you make a knockout mouse on my desk here? Okay, they're going to be evaluating you for your transferable skills, right? Your communication skills, your interpersonal skills. S study after study, survey after survey shows that the number one reason PhDs are not hired into top positions is because of lack of interpersonal skills. So you're going to be evaluated on your interpersonal skills uh, more than anything else. Right? So that's, that's the first thing to keep in mind is that your interpersonal skills, your transferable skills overall, right? Communication skills, leadership skills, project management skills, people management skills, uh, product and market knowledge, business acumen, your knowledge of current industry trends, uh, your knowledge of company culture, your fit with company culture. These are the things that matter and you have to start thinking like this. Um, but before you even start worrying about your transferable skills, you have to create a networking strategy. All, almost all jobs, the majority of jobs, Certainly PhD level jobs now come through referrals, external referrals or internal referrals. So external referrals by a, a recruiter that the company hired or internal referrals from employees at the company who are being incentivized uh, to hire uh, job candidates they might know. All right, so you have to create a networking strategy and start talking to people, setting up informational interviews um, before anything else. Reaching out to people, asking them how to get a, you know, where the jobs are at or where you can post your resume, it's not gonna work. You have to start networking with people, uh, digging into your connections, building up your, your industry network, and then from there, leveraging your transferable skills during networking events and certainly during interviews. Uh, so until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.